The Carlin Pincher is a small cross of the miniature Pincher and the Pug with playful, affectionate and outgoing temperament. There are top 10 interesting facts about the Carlin Pincher. First of all, I would love to thank these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos in this video. If you would like the Carlin Pincher and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. And now let's jump into the video. Number 1. Origin the Carlin Pincher started as a little accident in 1990s when an owner of Miniature Pincher went on vacation and left its dog with her friend, an owner of a black pug. When they returned from the vacation, they found that their minpin mated with the pug and later gave birth to the first litter of dogs which we know today as Carlin Pinchers. Number 2. Breed in Development the Carlin Pincher is being developed for more than 20 years now, but it's still considered rather as a crossbreed or designer dog breed than a real purebred dog, and they are not recognized by any major kennel club. It is better to say that it is a breed in development rather than a crossbreed. A cross of Pug and Minpin is known as Pugpin or Muggin, and the Carlin Pincher is separated from this cross as the Carlin Pincher is carefully bred for selected traits and some additional breeds were and possibly will be used in the breed's development next to the pug and minpin. Number 3. Name Do you wonder why this dog is called as Carlin Pincher? Well, the pincher part is obvious, as they are part miniature pinchers, but why Carlin? That comes from the pug ancestor, as in some countries the pug is known as the Carlin. Number 4. Family Pets the Carlin Pincher is not used for any real work, and their main and only utilization is to be the best possible companion dogs, and indeed, they are amazing companions. The Carlin Pincher is known for its loving and affectionate nature, but also lively and playful character. They possess temperamental traits from both of its parent breeds, and they are typically very friendly and sociable dogs that can make excellent play partners for kids, and they can live in the household with other dogs or pets without any problems, especially if socialized together from the puppyhood. Number 5. Exercise The Carlin Pincher is pretty lively, energetic and a playful dog breed, but it's not that hard to deal with their exercise needs. It is true that they will be always ready for a vigorous playtime or outdoor adventure, but they are active indoors and outdoors, and you can deal with their energy by few daily walks accompanied by good playtime and fun training session. It's not a total couch potato, but definitely not completely hyperactive dog neither. It is quite adaptable breed that can happily live even in tiny apartments. Number 6. Size the Carlin Pincher is a small sized dog with pretty strong body. The average height is between 11 to 13 inches, which is 28 to 33 centimeters, and weight is usually between 12 to 14 pounds, which is 5 to 6 kilograms. There are no big size differences between males and females. Number 7. Coat even though still developing breed, Carlin Pinchers are surprisingly very similar in appearance. One of the main appearance characteristics is their coat. It is a short hair dog with coat similar to the miniature Pinchers coat. The preferred coat color is black and tan, but you can also find Carlins in all black, brown, fawn or sable color. Number 8. Maintenance Speaking of the coat, it's important to mention the maintenance and grooming as well, and the Carlin Pincher is pretty easy to take care of dog breed. The short and smooth coat does shed some deal of fur all year long and regular brushing is beneficial to remove all the dead and loose hair and minimize the shedding. Regular brushing will also remove any dirt and redistribute natural oils all over the coat. No other grooming is required. Just like with any other dog breed, you should regularly check their eyes, ears, nails and teeth teeth and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 9. Training the Carlin Pincher is definitely a very smart dog, but they are not pushovers to train. Their alert and kind of independent personality, some would say stubborn, is not that ideal for typical obedience training. It is better to schedule short and fun training sessions rather than long ones, as the dog might easily get bored and distracted. You will see best results with positive reinforcement and of course with a lot of patience. Do not expect the Carlin Pincher to nail tricks like Border Collie, but you can definitely teach them all the basic obedience commands plus some fancy tricks. Number 10. Health 
The Carlin Pincher is pretty healthy dog breed with average lifespan around 15 years. Luckily, they are not prone much to breathing issues and overheating just like the pug as they do not have such a short muzzle. Of course, they can still suffer from some health issues such as progressive retinal atrophy, patella luxation, some allergies or infections. The Carlin Pincher is also prone to obesity, so it's important to feed them properly and not overfeed them. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Carlin Pincher and what is your experience with this dog. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocka Dogs links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.